We continue to share inspiring stories of individuals recognized for their outstanding achievements while prioritizing the true faith in their lives. And for one up-and-coming track star in New Jersey, we'll learn how receiving a special recognition also helped to reflect on the choices she made that brought her on the path to success. Michael Robinson has the story. For her accomplishments in 2001, she was named by the Bryan County Times, the first team all-county track team, and was named as the Bryan County Times Female Track Athlete of the Year. Natasha Sett still holds school records in 100 hurdles, 400 hurdles, and long jump. So going back to my high school for the Hall of, Hall of Fame uh, dinner was, it was definitely a time of reflection for me because, I mean, 20 years had passed and my life is nothing like I thought it would be. Valedictorian and state champion in numerous track and field events, Natasha Esquera was a force to reckon with. While attending Palmyra High School in New Jersey, she would find herself being inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2022 as one of the top student athletes in the state of New Jersey while attending high school in 2001. But there is another race that Natasha runs that took notice in her life when just finishing high school, a race of faith to become an organist and choir member in the Church of Christ. The summer after I graduated and right before I started going to Princeton, uh, I decided that I wanted to be a choir member. And ultimately I wanted to be an organist because in the congregation that I was in, we're a small choir, so I wanted to help out. We only had one organist at the time and I, I wanted to utilize my musical background to be able to help the church in that way as well. But while running to put God first, obstacles became potential stumbling blocks for Natasha for what would seem to be a very promising future. Uh, that, that was a challenging time because I did want to continue to run track. And at one point in my life, I did think that I could even, you know, if I really worked hard, I could make it to the Olympics. But determined to keep her sights focused on her duties, she never slowed down in trusting what God could do for her. So I, I basically sat down and prayed to God about what I should do because I didn't want to give up my duties in the church. And I, and I did love running. Like they were questioning me, especially my coaches, like, why would you do that? Even my coaches from high school were like calling me up and they're like, why would you do that? You know, you work so hard to run at Princeton and the coach, you know, he came to your meets and everything. And over the next few weeks, I realized that when I was old and gray, I knew that I wanted to, to know that I was an active member in the church, that I was able to help the church in any way that I could. So I made that decision at that time to step back from, to step back from track. After overcoming a big hurdle in her life, Natasha's view was even more clear of the race ahead to keep her eyes straight ahead. At the end of the day, I'm super thankful that I made that choice because that really set me up for the rest of my life, you know, to always put God, to always put God first, no matter what. And the ongoing blessings in Natasha's life as she continues to run her race of faith. And that just really set me up. It just gave me a really uh, great foundation in my faith, especially as I ended up uh, graduating from college and then um, going into the real world and having a family and all that good stuff, uh, I, always, I always felt God so close to me. And uh, I believe six years ago, I was able to take oath to be a choir mentor as well. Ready, steady, go. And as she kept her pace, she would also find herself running again. This time, it would be through the Unity Games of the Church of Christ, where she would have the opportunity to compete again, but at a global level, ranking number one in numerous track events. I even got to go to the Philippines for the centennial celebration and got to run in the Philippine arena, which is really exciting, um, a lot of fun, and just to meet brethren from all over the world, all in one place. That was, that was really fun and inspiring. 
Even during the pandemic, Natasha again would see God's blessings by taking her talents to the online world. Tasha here, mom turned minimalist, and today I'm going to talk about why my kids no longer have a ton of toys, and also tell you the types of toys that will never find their way back into my When house. the pandemic started, I got into YouTube, and so minimalism came at the right time because I was able to basically declutter my whole house over the next few years. Basically, it's just keeping in your life what really matters, what really has value to you, and getting rid of the clutter. Take you through a declutter of my clothing since it's a new year and I... Don't worry so much about, you know, the material things in life, right? Worry more about your relationship with God, right? So I feel like that all kind of intertwined because once I got rid of the excess and I was able to streamline my life, I was then able to have more time, especially to dedicate to God. Congratulations, Natasha Marshall Esquire. And while being recognized for her achievements in her youth, Natasha continues racing through life with the true faith guiding her on the ultimate prize. And I just, I knew in my heart that that's what I needed to do. God gave me a choice and I chose him. It's members like Natasha who continue to strive in putting their faith first and remembering that even when sacrifices are made, God never forgets those who love Him first through the true faith. To watch more inspiring stories like these, visit incmedia.org slash incnewsworld. Michael Robinson, Iglesia de Cristo News Network. Keep up with the latest news and inspiring stories of INC News World by hitting the subscribe button to the INC Media YouTube channel.